Hey guys, so a classmate asked, what is an interface and how do we create one in Java? An interface is similar to regular class, but it differs in that it contains only abstract methods and fields defined as final, also known as constants. Let's look at an example of an interface. To create an interface, we first start off with the keyword interface. Then, we write out what the name of the interface is going to be. In this example, the name of the interface is going to be interface test. And don't forget the beginning and ending curly braces. Now we're going to define this interface as public so that other classes can see it. Now all we have to do is create an abstract method and create a constant. So let's first create a constant. So all constants must have the keyword final. So we'll say final int a equals 100. And then we're going to create an abstract method. Let's say the abstract method's name is going to be display. And the function of this method is to print out to the console whatever we type in it. Before we go on defining the rest of this method's body, we need to remember that this is to be an abstract method, which means that it should not contain any code besides this method's signature, such as its name, parameters, return type, etc. We want this program not to return anything, so we'll add in the keyword void. And we also want it to be accessible to all of their classes, so we'll add in the accessor public. Now that we've created an interface, we need to create another class that implements whatever is in our interface to see how it actually works. Let's create the class test class, and we'll have the access modifier as public. Now we're going to say that test class implements interface test. So we use the keyword implements to notify to the Java compiler that whatever we're going to have within test class is going to be implementing whatever we've already defined in interface test. So let's have our end and beginning curly braces. And now what we're going to do is actually define what we've already set up in our method display. So we're going to type out public void display as we did before, but now we're going to actually give it a body. So before we said we're going to allow um, the display method to print out something to the console. So let's say it prints out system.out.println Java coding rocks. Now we're going to create a main method to test out what we've already defined in the interface and this test class. Remember that the declaration of a main method is public static, void, main, open and close parentheses, string, brackets, args, and then with its own set of curly braces. Now what we're going to do is create a new object from test class. So test class t equals new test class. And we didn't define any constructor, so whatever is in the parentheses is going to be nothing. Now we're going to say t.display so that this object can call the method display. And then we're going to system.out.println a. And now remember that a is the constant that we defined in interface test. And let's see what happens. If we run this code, we get Java coding rocks and 100, which makes sense. Because now we have this method display that before an interface test was just an abstract method with nothing inside of it. But now that we've actually given it something within the test class, it's able to actually print out Java coding rocks. Also, since we implemented the interface test, we get the constant a as defined here. And since a is equal to 100, when we print it out to the console, we also get 100. I hope this video helped you in understanding interfaces.